Hi and welcome to my maths class. In our previous video, we had discussed rational numbers. Today we are going to concentrate on mixed numbers and we are going to discuss recurring numbers. In the exams, you would be asked to show how a mixed number or a recurring number fall under the category of rational numbers. Mixed numbers are a whole number and a fraction. In order to show that a mixed number is a rational number, you have to get it into the form of a over b. Now, the first step is you're going to multiply. So we're going to take the 1 and we are going to multiply it with 4. 1 times 4. Then we are going to add. We add the 4 plus the 3, giving us 7. So to write it in the form of a over b, we've got 7 over 4. Let's do the following example. If it is 2 and 3 over 4, we are going to say 2 times 4, which is 8. Then we're going to add the 3, which is 11. So our fraction is 11 over 4. Now, recurring numbers. When you start with recurring numbers, number 1, label your recurring number x. It is advisable to leave space on top. This only makes your adding or subtracting later easier. However, if you don't leave the space, you can still continue with the work. Right. Let's take for example, I'm asking you to convert 0, 0,3 into a rational number. So we're going to say x is equal to 0, 0,3. 3, 3, 3. Then you are going to times it by 10. You don't always need to times it by 10. Sometimes it will be times by 100 or 1000. But it is always a multiple of 10. You're going to multiply the one side by 10. And what you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So I'm going to end up with 10x is equal to 3,333. Now notice I wrote this in the space I left on top. Then you are going to subtract. I'm going to say 10x minus x is going to equal to 9x. 3,333 minus 0,333 is equal to 3. Now you solve for x. Divide by 9, and we've got x is equal to 1 over 3. You've now got it into the form of a over b, proving that it is a rational number. Thank you for watching this video.